What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm playing Timber Lodge Inn. There's something about these motel themed horror games that really drag me in. So let's play. And I'm here. Wow. Whoa, this is heavily stylized. I like this. Ah, uh, little convenience store. Oh, convenience store right across? Oh, dude, that's actually prime real estate right there. All right, I'm going in. Hello? What's up to your arms? Hello, stranger. Name's Howard. My wife and child just abandoned me, claiming I wasn't an appropriate father figure. Just kidding. Anyway... Welcome to our motel. All right, Howard, starting off strong. Oh, so you want to visit Firemore and stay here for the night? Wonderful. Timber Lodge Inn is the best place for visitors. What did you say? Also, you're in luck because tonight we don't have any other guests. Oh, I'm by myself. Just pick up whichever key you want and go to your room. By the way, don't forget that if you need anything, you can come to me at any time. All right, uh... I got key number five. That makes sense. I don't even think I selected that myself, but we're good. I'm going to room number five. Four, five. Here we go. Okay. I <laughs> got confused for a second. Well, this is a pretty nice room, and green is on TV, my favorite show. Let's just quickly check out the bathroom. I guess I, guess I can't. The only thing I can do in this room is sleep. <laughs> What? Is that in my bathroom? What is going on? Okay, I gotta, I gotta hop out. See what the deal is. Ow! Who is making all of this noise? What is happening? What? Uh. It's room number five everywhere. What is? What is happening? Oh, this is weird. This is weird and trippy. Okay. What are the other rooms going to be like? It's the same. It's the same exact room. Just flipped over on its other side. Oh my god, everyone shut up. Who's making all that noise? Shut up, please. Please, it's too much. It's too much talking. Is it upstairs? I need sleep and y'all are preventing me from sleeping. Whoever you are, wherever you are. I need you to stop. I need you to stop, please. Not sure what that was about. Okay. I'm very confused. The lights are behaving very strangely in this place. I'm not even going to close the door. Do I have the keys to everywhere else? I do. Oh. Uh. Uh. There's blood everywhere. Should I be watching this? I can zoom. I've been holding a camera the whole time. Am I going to see anything? What? What? What is... I think that was a dream. Dude, that was bizarre, man. That was actually... Spine tingling? Who's knocking? Relax, dude. I'm coming over to see. It's happening again. Oh, no! Go in! Ow! Alright, now I have to figure out who's knocking. This place is weird, dude. Uh, why is it so red? Who's doing that? Okay, it's very hard for me to tell which direction that's coming from. I think I have to do what I did before. And just check all the rooms. Let me try going upstairs. Maybe I should go all the way to the rightmost door. I feel like that might be the only option here. Because when I did before, it showed me that room with just the chair and the TV. What? What is going on in this place, dude? It's so weird. This room has nothing in it other than a sofa and a lamp. This door? Oh. Um. I'm a little bit hesitant to walk in here. I'm sure you guys can relate. Let's go. Okay, well, you're gone. Demonic circle. Here I come. What is happening? What is going on in this place? There's no bed in here either. Okay, let's let's check out some of the other rooms. There's definitely some weirdness. 
Normal. Normal. This was the room where I saw some weirdness before. Okay, it's empty. It's completely empty. What is going on with the lights in here? And there you are, you <laughs> stupid face. Okay, you're not bringing me back now. I guess I'm gonna go back down to my room. I'm very weirded out. Can I actually go talk to the, the guy over there? I don't even remember which one. I think it's this one. But I'm gonna go talk to the, the clerk. Maybe he'll have some answers. Oh, buddy, and you're gone. You don't exist anymore. <laughs> you were a figment of my imagination the entire time. That's how this is gonna go. So, is this like a Twilight Zone episode or something? Because I'm losing my marbles right now. Alright, I'm gonna go back to my room, but before I do, there is another spot I want to check out. And that's this room. I haven't been in here yet. At all. Okay. What? What? Pearl cult strikes again. And what am I looking at over here? Is this like the Necronomicon or something like that? How do I... Can I... Pick that up? No? Okay. I'm out of here. I'm just gonna go back into my room, close the door, and wake up in the middle of a dark alleyway. Yep, that's the next thing that was on my list. This is tripping me out, man. I don't know what's wrong. How did I end up in back of the place? Oh, there's the guy. Okay, maybe I can go talk to him. Maybe he'll have some answers for me. Howdy, everything okay? You look weird. Speak for yourself, man. Oh. How did you find that book? Oh, well, I guess I have to tell you a little story. Many believe that Firemore is cursed. I know, right? Everyone wants a haunted town in their story. But not this time, son. Firemore is cursed, at least according to strangers. There are rumors of serial killers, ghosts, even aliens that are among us in this town. If you ask me, that's a bunch of crap made up by the locals. Gotta make your town popular, am I right? And there's no bad popularity if you make your town famous. Now the thing is, that all of this is true, except the aliens part, I think. Anyway, Firemore is some kind of energy. Many claim it's because of the magnetic forces or whatever. You can feel it once you enter it. The wind is heavy, and suddenly you start hearing things. Things that you're not supposed to hear. I couldn't stand it. I left Firemore and started a new business here. Outside of all this noise. The only way to fight it? Get religious. Just kidding. In the late 50s, there was a cult here, I believe, called the Crow Feathers or something. Many believe that they were responsible for this mess. They're <laughs> they were worshipping a demon-like creature, had two horns, I believe, and they called it Ankoku, the demon of hatred. But what do I know? Anyway, I gotta work now. Go back to sleep, and don't bother me again with all that. Man went through a series of emotions and an entire graphic novel speaking to me. I didn't ask for your whole life story about the town you lived in. I asked for answers, and you gave me enough? What? Uh. Where's my key? It's still gone. And I can't access it. What? Why not? Should I go talk to the guy again? What the hell, dude? And why is there a random car? Just chilling over here. Abandoned. That makes sense. Oh, I'm finding more secrets, dude. I'm in the back alley of the convenience store. What is this? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I think the guy that I just spoke to is a member of that cult because there's a demonic symbol on the back of his store and I can't even talk to him anymore what is happening where did my key go I can't go back in my room oh. what 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 just happened okay I just bypassed a bunch of that I'm gonna keep walking down the spiral staircase that appeared out of nowhere and continues to appear out of nowhere and now <laughs> a doorway oh Oh. And it's all sixes. Oops, all sixes! By the way, my voice is still shot from screaming. Many times incredibly loudly a couple of days ago, so... A little embarrassing, but I'll let it slide. Hello! What now? This now. 
Did I? I die? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Chill. Chill. What is happening? I think that was it. That was it. Well, I gotta say, that was a very interesting game. It was a little confusing at times. I didn't really know exactly what to do, and then things just sort of happened to me. But I really liked this game, I gotta say. It was just something about it, like, it felt unique. It felt interesting to go from room to room and see, like, some of the rooms kind of turn into, like, these little horror spaces. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I like the way this game was done. It was well executed. And if you guys want to try this out for yourselves, be sure to check the link down below in the description. Otherwise, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate you all for being here, for showing me your support. If you happen to enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Leave me a little comment. Let me know how you feel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Once again, I thank you all so much for watching this video. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take it easy.